I am running behind schedule. I have a backlog from my class 11 syllabus. My current chapter is related to my backlog. I don't know what to do. I am not able to keep pace with the class. And on top of it, I have a huge backlog. I am lost. I am always running behind the schedule. I am under tremendous pressure and tension. If these are some of the questions which you have in your mind, then believe me, you are not the only ones. The problem of backlog is a problem which every student faces during his school life and while preparing for competitive examinations. In fact, most of the toppers whom I have interacted in the last 15 years, they too even had the problem of backlog. So backlog is a common problem. Good afternoon boys and girls, this is Avinash Agarwal, your success guide in the journey of scoring more marks, cracking exams and achieving your goals. Today, in today's session, we are going to talk about a very, very interesting, very, very powerful and very, very useful topic, which is how do we cover backlogs, how do we manage backlogs and how do we ensure that we don't have any backlogs in the future. So before we get into that, what is a backlog? Backlog is a chunk of slavers which we have not been able to cover because of the scarcity of time. Now, there can be multiple reasons for having backlogs. There can be internal reasons, there can be external reasons. Internal reasons like the problem with the planning, internal reasons like procrastination, probably falls sick or probably you were referring too many books, you lost focus and you were tr probably trying to do everything. And external reasons like the classes did not happen, the teacher was not good, the teacher did not complete the syllabus or any whatever. There can be many more reasons. Also, there can be two, three types of backlogs. Backlog number type one can be that you have not studied the chapter at all. Type 2 backlog, you have studied the chapter but there are a lot of doubts or you have not understood the concepts clearly and type 3 backlog can be that you have studied the chapter but you have not completed it, you have left it in between. But whatever is the type of backlog or whatever may be the type of backlog, in today's session I am going to cover all the tips and techniques with the help of which you will not be able to only cover the backlogs but to ensure that you don't have backlogs in future. Do not panic when you have backlog because you are not the only student who has it. Almost all students including as I said toppers also have backlogs. What is important is that how do you address the problem of backlogs. The very fact that you have identified it as a problem shows that you are serious and you have an intent to solve it and that is very important. So the problem is not backlog. The problem is that most of the students don't want to think about backlog and their backlogs remain backlog. So the very fact that you are thinking about backlog shows that you are serious and you are willing to take action so as to cover backlogs and ensure that you don't have backlogs in the future. As I keep on saying in my various sessions is that if you are facing problems in your preparation, if you are facing challenges in your preparation, if you are struggling in your preparation then you can safely assume that your preparation is going in the right direction. Contrary to that, if you have any challenge or any problem and you are comfort zone and you are not any pressure, tension, anxiety, then you are not in your preparation. So the very fact that you are thinking about the backlog, you are worried about the backlog and you are thinking about how, what is the plan which I should make so as to cover backlog shows that your preparation is going in the right direction. So in the next part, I am going to talk about what are the various tips which we should do so as to cover the backlog. The first and the most important tip when we talk about covering backlog is that present is more important. What I am trying to say is that whenever you are planning of covering backlog, always and always keep in your mind that backlog should never be covered at the cost of what is being taught to you present in the class. Mane, jo class mein is waqt padha hai ja raha hai, jo chapter chal raha hai, wo sab se jada zaruri wohi hai. Usko chhoad ke backlog karna hai ka matlab hai ki aage ke backlog create karte jana. To what we have understood or what I just said is that present is more important. Puri taakat, puri shiddat se hum jo class mein is waqt padha hai ja raha hai, usko cover karenge taaki usme koi backlog na chhoad sake, usme koi doubts na ho, usme koi confusion na ho, usme koi uncovered topic na ho. Kyunki humara ek objective ye bhi hai ki hume aage ke liye backlogs nahi create karne hai. So present is more important. So whatever you are studying presently, give it your 100%, try to complete it as thoroughly as possible and do not try to compromise on your present at the cost of covering your backlog. Now the next step is that you should make a list of all the backlogs you have. You make a list of all the chapters, subject wise list of all the chapters that these are my backlog chapters which I need to revisit again or which I need to visit again. Now the problem, one of the very important reasons why most of the students have backlog 
is because of the problem of procrastination. So it is extremely important that when we make a list of backlog, what is the chapter with which we start with when we try of covering the backlog. And here I would like to comment, and this is very important, is that try to pick up the chapter which looks interesting, which looks exciting, which looks easy. Aisa topic choose ki jo aapko interesting lagta ho, exciting lagta ho, taaki prokast, fir se aap backlog ko cover karne ke liye, jo aap prakayas kar rahe hain, jo koshish kar rahe hain, usko fir se aap procrastinate nahi kare. So the first tip to pick up the chapter while selecting the sequence in which you would cover the backlog is that try to pick up the topic which looks interesting. The second tip is that you can study the trend of the examination you're preparing for. You, you can find out easily find out that which are the chapters from where the maximum number of questions are being asked and you can prioritize the chapter according to the trend of the examination you are preparing for. The third tip is that if for any reason what is what is being taught to you currently in the class is dependent upon your backlog, now that becomes an extremely sensitive case. In such a situation, what do we do that what we are studying in class is dependent upon our backlog. Ke upar dependent hai. So now there are two or three things which you can do. I spoke to one of the toppers and he said that one of the chapters which was being taught to him in class 12th was dependent upon his class 11th chapter and which he had in the backlog. So he said that what he did was that because the time was less, he only studied the theory part and followed by the solved examples. And he said that with the help of st after studying the theory and the solved example, usko basic knowledge or basic understanding ho gai, basic ground level ki knowledge ho gai, and he then studied along the class class 12th ch chapter along with the class. While he was studying the class 12th chapter according to the class, according to the uh, along with the class, or class 11th ka jo backlog ka chapter tha, usne sirf uska text padha or solved examples padha, to uske class 11th ki topic, class 11th ki us chapter ke backlog ki bhi thodi thodi understanding firm or deep hoti chale gai, aur jaise uska class 12th ka chapter khatam hua, usne class 11th ke chapter pe aake usko pura cheez complete kar liya. What I'm trying to say is that whenever you're studying any chapter, there are certain sequence of things you do. You first of all, you do text, then you do solid examples, then you do the exercises, then you do the previous year questions, and then you do the coaching notes. So these are the five things which I think are very important for you to complete the entire chapter. If in case the time is less and the current chapter of the backlog is dependent upon what is being taught to you currently in the class, then what I advise is that you should cover the text and you should cover the solid examples. With the help of these two things, you would have fairly decent ideas so as to be able to connect with what is being taught to you in the class. If you have a little bit more time, you can do exercises को कर सकते हैं या प्रीवियस ईयर के क्वेश्चंस को कर सकते हैं और अगर टाइम की कोई कमी नहीं है टाइम सफिशिएंट है तो फिर आप अपने उस पूरे 11th क्लास के चैप्टर को उसी तरह जो बैकलॉग का जो चैप्टर है उसको उसी तरीके से करें जिस तरीके से आप उसको करते नाउ हियर आल्सो देयर इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज दैट as I said, ki when we are covering a backlog, the idea is to remove that backlog. So whenever we are covering the backlog, we should not do any kind of hardbody. Koi ghabar tabar nahi karni hai, koi ghabarat nahi karni hai. Always saying success is not about running fast, it is about running in the right direction. It is not about solving 10,000 questions, it is about solving 1,000 questions and doing them with complete honesty and integrity. So there is no point in doing ghabar See the preparation, while you are preparing for any kind of competitive examination, please remember that it is a long journey. Or is journey ke andar short term motivator kuch nahi hai. Har din ke end pe aapko, ya har mehne ke end pe aapko pata nahi chalega ki aapki tajari sahi chal rahi hai nahi chal rahi hai. Or aapki tajari sahi chal rahi hai nahi chal rahi hai, iska सबसे अच्छा जवाब आपको आपका दिल और दिमाग देगा तो दैट इज वॉट आई कीप ऑन एडवाइजिंग इज दैट प्लीज डू नॉट डू एनी हड़बड़ी यू शुड ओनली एंड ओनली प्रिपेयर विद वन इंटेंशन एंड देर इज वन क्वेश्चन विच यू शुड ऑलवेज ट्राई टू आस्क योर सेल्फ एन आंसर एम आई एबल टू टेक माई प्रिपरेशन एवरी वीक टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल क्या यहां से यहां यहां से यहां यहां से यहां अगर आपकी तैयारी इफ यू फील कॉन्फिडेंट दैट यू आर एबल विद एवरी पासिंग वीक और विद एवरी पासिंग मंथ यू आर एबल टू टेक योर प्रिपरेशन टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल नेक्स्ट लेवल नेक्स्ट लेवल नेक्स्ट लेवल नेक्स्ट लेवल बी अ श्योर देर कैन बी अप्स एंड डाउन बट यू आर मूविंग द राइट डायरेक्शन विद द राइट प्लेस देर इज नथिंग टू वरी अबाउट आउटपुट दिखने में टाइम लगता है बट जो आपकी इनपुट है वो सही डायरेक्शन में जा रही है इसके अलावा एक और जो चीज आती है जो जब भी हम बैकलॉग्स की बात करते हैं इज दैट प्लीज डू नॉट ट्राई टू कवर अप एवरी थिंग देर आर मेनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन विच आर लो स्कोरिंग एग्जामिनेशन वेर इन द कट ऑफ डजन गो वेरी हाई सो इन सम ऑफ द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन इट मेक्स सेंस that you do not complete 100% of the syllabus. So it does not, it may make perfect strategic sense that you leave one or two chapters. So what I'm trying to say is that instead of trying to cover everything and you're trying to cover 100% of the syllabus, probably what makes more sense, depending upon the exam you're preparing for, that you can leave one or two chapters, or the chapters that are less weighted, you can leave one or two chapters. I was speaking to a topper of NEET 2017 and he shared with me a very, very interesting thing. He said that before he thought that 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 he thought
उसका सिलेबस पूरा कम हंड्रेड परसेंट कंप्लीट कर लेना चाहिए एंड ही सेट दैट इन फिजिक्स देर फोर और फाइव चैप्टर्स विच वर नॉट कंप्लीट इन द रश इन इन जस्ट टू क्रिएट जस्ट टू ईज ऑफ दैट मेंटल प्रेशर एंड इन द रश टू कंप्लीट द एंटायर सिलेबस ही कंप्लीटेड इज फोर और फाइव चैप्टर्स ऊपर ऊपरी तौर से कर लिया ही डिड नॉट गो डीप एंड ही डिड नॉट कवर दैम प्रॉपरली नतीजा क्या हुआ उस मॉक टेस्ट के अंदर उनको उन चार चैप्टर्स उन फोर चैप्टर्स में से फाइव या सिक्स क्वेश्चन आए उसने वो फाइव या सिक्स क्वेश्चन जब अटैम्प्ट किए तो ही वॉज एबल टू सॉल्व टू क्वेश्चन एंड थ्री क्वेश्चन ही कुड नॉट सॉल्व नाउ एट द एंड ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन बोथ द क्वेश्चन विच इज सॉल्व वॉज रॉन्ग सो ही वॉज अवॉर्डेड माइनस टू मार्क्स एंड इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व दो फाइव क्वेश्चन उन चार पांच चैप्टर्स के जो कि उसने पूरी गहराई में पूरी डेप्थ में नहीं किए थे ही सेट दैट ही वेस्टेड अराउंड ट्वेल्व टू थर्टीन मिनट्स सो एट द एंड ऑफ द डे आफ्टर वेस्टिंग ट्वेल्व टू थर्टीन मिनट्स वॉट इज फाइनली गॉड वॉज माइनस टू मार्क्स सो इंस्टेड ऑफ इट इट वुड हैड मोर सेंस कि अगर वो उन चार चैप्टर को छोड़ लेता तो ना तो वो दस बारह मिनट उसके लगते और ना ही माइनस टू मार्क्स आते सो वन आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज दैट समटाइम्स इन आर लाइफ और समटाइम्स इन आर प्रिपरेशन इट मेक्स सेंस टू पुट ऑफ सम प्लेट से कुछ निकाल देना ही कई बार बेहतर होता है रेदर देन पुटिंग एवरी थिंग इन योर प्लेट यू नो पुटिंग समथिंग आउट ऑफ योर प्लेट ऑल्सो मेक्स परफेक्ट सेंस last but not the least i would again like to summarize and i would again like to highlight that most of the times the biggest reason behind having backlogs is one procrastination and two is wrong planning when i say wrong planning wrong planning also includes watching too many videos referring to too many books solving too many questions going out of your schedule and you know probably trying to do everything and i would again reiterate that success is not about running fast it is about running in the right direction it is not about solving 10000 questions it is about solving 1000 questions and doing them with complete honesty and integrity it is not about solving five to six books it is about doing one or two books and being able to complete them and revise them properly so say no to random stuff and ensure that there is no deviation from your plan and that is one of the best strategies to ensure that you don't have backlogs in your preparation also i would like to say is that even if you have backlogs even if you have some ups and downs in your preparation there is nothing to worry about that is a part and parcel of life and that is a part and parcel of everything we chase in life agar problems hain to unse koi ghabrane ki baat nahi hai but always remember keep your focus on the goals agar aap apne goals pe focus rakhenge to aapko problems nahi dikhai dengi chahe wo backlog ho chahe wo low scoring exam ho chahe kisi bhi cheez ka ho aur agar aapne focus गोल्स की जगह अगर प्रॉब्लम्स पे फोकस कर दिया तो गोल्स आपको दिखने बंद हो जाएंगे तो ऑलवेज कीप योर आईज ऑन द गोल्स एंड एंड कीप ऑन वर्किंग एंड सडनली आफ्टर सम टाइम यू विल स्टॉप सीइंग द प्रॉब्लम so i have recently written a book which is called topper study hack the book talks about all aspects of preparation it has lot of case studies lot of interesting stories lot of interesting experiences of the toppers like revision kaise karna hai question paper ko attempt kaise karna hai strategy kaise banani hai distraction se kaise dur hona hai focus kaise develop karna hai subject ke andar interest kaise karna hai raat ko padhna hai ya din mein padhna hai planning kaise banani hai to me my friends each every question which you have in your mind this book has got an answer to that question i would request all of you to get a copy of the book the book is available both at amazon and flipkart thank you bye bye and god bless you